Well, here's a quick one. My wood splitter's down, store's closed. So, look at these. These are uh, couplers. You can see they're pretty chewed up. It's all chewed off the corners. A coupler backed off the splitter. I made a trade for it. This one's not as bad, but it's not good. It ate the, the spider in here. So you can see the part that was good was on, you know, it ate the legs where it ate everything else. You put it together, but that's not a great looking connection. That's all missing. And they don't have good bearing service. That's not going to last particularly well. It's, it's not spinning the other way, so there's no force there. I have another spider around here someplace. Um, but I'm going to try to fix these real quick because I kind of want them for the next. I'd like to have this ready in you know, an hour or so. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to weld. What I'm going to do is I'm going to weld these up back so I got material. And if you look down, since you're on the one, it's not too worn. Look down the side, they just ran a mill. It's a straight line. So if I weld up the worn surface, I should be able to chuck these in the bridge port and take a cutter and just go and have a nice flat surface machined right there. Otherwise, I guess I could do it with a grinder, but it wouldn't be as precise. Might as well use the mill, I've got it. So I'm going to go weld all these up so I've got a little extra material and uh, we'll go from there. Is the most precise? No. It's a rubber coupler though. I'm just referencing off the last little good bit. The far side. Not perfect, but I'm going to get the other one done while I have the setup proper distance away since they're matched. And then uh, I might chuck them up and fly over the top and cut these flat. So here's the new spider. So that should drop. So that drops in. fits pretty well now. So I just got to come in and cut the, the lumps off the top, but I'm going to cut the other piece quick. And... This one I didn't quite get the corner enough and it did scoot a little bit. That's the first one it shifted a little. I think I might throw another little dot of weld on there and I'll cruise through while I'm all set up for it. And then these outsides, I probably won't do a darn thing to that because that really just doesn't matter. I could touch it with a grinder and make it look good, but that's all I'd really be doing is making it look good. This one's so you welded up the faces. That corner might be a little shy. Everything else looks pretty good. And big extra goober, but we're going to cut all the extra right off. So set it up the same way we did the other one. Getting it as far out as I can with this ruler. That'll get it as straight as possible. 
These aren't quite perfect, but this is a soft jaw coupler anyway, so I'm going with it. Should work for my home use. And I do want to just order a new set. They're only like 30 bucks for a set. So I'm kind of wasting my time, but that's not the point. The point is, fix what I got. Avoid that. Got sucked in, I cracked my cutter. This cutter's still gonna work. It's got I just lost a tooth on it. The guy who does this at home and it's cheap. I'll probably try to run it anyway. I don't know if it's gonna go though. It's not the happiest cutter. I can get this. Figures you break the cutter off, it's worth more than the part you're machining. Well, actually cut pretty well, even in damaged condition. Isn't really going as fast as probably should on this. But this isn't a particularly fast old now. Well, it came out pretty nice. Cheapness. Maybe being really cheap. <laughs> Saving cheap parts. Yeah.
perfect. No, it's not. It's okay. It's a soft coupling. Is it going to work? For sure. Might still be hot. I did just weld it. Let's do the uh, top of the other one. Highly precise. There it is, all machined. Let me deburr this. I just pop these off. Is it perfect? No, but it's pretty good. I was got a little porosity, but I think this is gonna work just fine for what I'm doing. I'm ordering a new one, but got me out of a pinch. Gotta go split some wood and uh, like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think and. Uh, See you soon. If you subscribe, you'll get notices when more stuff comes up. All sorts of fun projects. Have a good one.